Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, teamasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, teamasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing the Nomos Glasuta Metro Neomatic 35mm in stainless steel. This watch was designed by Berlin-based industrial designer Mark Braun for Nomos. It's a fascinating watch in many regards, as it takes the size and proportions of a traditional mid-20th century men's dress watch, but adopts a rather urbane and contemporary funkiness about its overall character. It is not a traditional watch in detail. The timepiece is thin, 8.4 millimeters thick, and from lug to lug only 42 millimeters. The timepiece really does wear like one of the golden era AP, Vacheron, or Patek Philippe dress watches from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. 35 millimeters is almost unheard of for a men's dress watch in the modern era, but when you throw the watch on the wrist, it doesn't seem that small. It's got a lot of personality. Those remarkable wire loop style metro lugs stand out, and though the watch isn't terribly thick and it isn't terribly broad, nevertheless, it does have a lot of personality. All the same, I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters in circumference, and in case you're wondering, the strap size is 17 millimeters if you're looking to accessorize your Nomos. It is very handsome, comfortable, and extravagant, one might even say, with champagne dial, polished case, and signal orange accents. Taking a quick look at the strap, it's a handsome piece, a little bit different for Nomos, which usually features a seamless shell cordovan. You can see this hide is beautifully dimpled, somewhat, somewhat wrought. It has a slightly contrasting stitch, a lovely folded side, and it's almost honey honey yellow, a brand new Nomos factory strap, and as you can see with pull tab spring bars on the underside, so though it looks as though it's stitched on, you can actually pull the tab and remove it without any tools. It is very supple, very soft, beautifully made, and the dimpling at close range is, well, it's beautiful. This is a watch that is beautiful, and it does so with a minimum of fuss and features. The buckle is simple. It's a clevis type folder. It, has a little bit of a polish to it to give it some grandeur, not by virtue of size, but by virtue of grace. You can put the strap inside and you see that there's an elevated bridge. You see how the bridge is elevated over the prongs so that the strap will sit partially inside the buckle itself. Rolling over to the case, it needs no great details beyond the junction of lug, case, and bezel. And as you can see, it's a back loader with everything going in through the back of the case. There, there's nothing remarkably extravagant. There is nothing overwrought. There's just the junction between the lugs and the case, and then a blade-like lip to the bezel that is seamless, as the bezel and the case are all of one piece. The Nomos crown is triple knurled and a pleasure to grip. The the crystal itself has a little bit of a vintage look to it as it's a slightly bubbled cambered sapphire designed to create the off-axis distortion of a mid-20th century plexiglass, and clearly that is the reference of this watch in its size, its proportions. It is referencing the mid-20th century, back before every man needed a wrist clock. Now the dial is described as champagne, but I think it has a little bit more of a golden character to it than champagne, which is usually somewhere between yellow and pink. There's also the use of these radially arrayed Arabic numerals outboard for the minutes. The signal orange, which is actually quite lavishly applied as the entire dimple style minutes track is orange. And then there's the signal orange hand inside an azurage or sunken concentric circular guilloche sub seconds. There are quasi syringe hands. They're a hybrid of syringe and baton, but they're entirely metallic and polished. And this watch is an example of what Nomos does best bringing in outside name designers to create handsome watches and then filling them with competent watchmaking. This is the Nomos DUW Deutsche Ehrenwerk 3001. When you see a Nomos movement named after a Greek letter like Sigma, that's a Nomos in-house caliber, but it's not Nomos's escapement. This Deutsche Ehrenwerk, the DUW, that is an in-house movement. Automatic winding, bi-directional, 21-6 beat rate. It features a full balance bridge for shock resistance. It features stop seconds. It features a 43-hour power reserve. It pivots, as you can see, on 27 joules. And it is nicely decorated with glasuta stripes, engine turning on the base plate, fired blued screws. You can see polish on the crown wheel as well as the adjacent structures. You can see the adjacent rocker as part of the winding system. 
and then we'll flip back to the balance bridge and you can see that it uses Etichron for adjustment which means it is potentially very accurate as Etichron allows exceedingly accurate adjustment of beat, error, and timing. Now the balance, the hairspring, as well as the escapement are Nomos's own. Again, DUW, it's their swing system. They're making the base plate, they're making the bridges, but they're also making the escapement, the hairspring, and the balance, which is an extraordinary achievement for a still relatively new watchmaker. And all of this 30 meters water resistant. I'm almost at a loss for words over this little watch. Email tmasa at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.